What's up everyone? Hope you're all keeping well. I know it's been a few weeks since we've done a video. Life has just been getting in the way lately. There hasn't been much hunting going on. But did manage to hit five or six shops and scored pretty good in two of them. Anyway, let's just get straight into it and join the action at Jack and Jill in our team. Oh, I've been saying that I knew that Jack and Jill would pay off one day. They had a pile of original Xbox games in the window. They were all priced for one euro each. Got a few other games in there as well. Nothing too mad. I'm going to have a quick look through the Xbox games now because I don't really know an awful lot about them or if they're worth much. Actually, what I'll do is have a quick look at the Wii games first. I uh, had a little look. These are all in there. The Just Dance 2, you've probably seen it on camera, had a bonus disc in it which was Super Mario Brothers, new Super Mario Brothers for the Wii. I actually think I already have this loose, so that's two loose copies now. So if anyone has an old case banging around, let us know. And then inside was Just Dance 3. Now I got this because I know I have a couple of the Just Dance discs loose at home, so I'm sure I have a two discs match in with this one. I don't think we'll be doing much with that three disc, it's in bits. But just to have a quick little look, where's my phone? And just see if it's worth anything in trade or not. I kind of just didn't bother checking them when they're a euro each. Like I always say, I just grabbed them and I'm sure we can use the empty case for something if we have to. Nope, that trades for four euro if we can complete it. So definitely have a look when I get home and see if that disc is banging around. But obviously, well worth it for the Mario game alone. We could probably nearly flip that and cover the cost of nearly everything that's in here. So we cannot go wrong with that. Carnival Games Mini Golf. I actually have this one already. It only really trades for 150, so not really much of a come up on it, but it does have the manual in there and it's a pretty nice condition one. So I do have this at home, so it might even be like an upgrade for me and then just trade it off and take the extra 50 cent out of it. Shrek the Third. I think I might have a Shrek game on the way. I don't think I have that one. And this trades for four euro. It's actually in really nice condition as well. So we're actually doing pretty well. This one's not gonna be worth anything. This is Golden Balls. <laughs> I'm saying no more. But um, look, it's just one of those silly Wii games that we don't have that we'll add to the collection. Yeah, it trades for 70 cents, so worst case, we'll lose 30 cents on it. And then another absolute banger was this Pets Sports Playground. Sometimes these can actually be worth a few quid. This one, I don't really know. I've never come across it before, so I'm actually in the dark. Barcode's covered up there, so I'll have to do a quick search and see. No, that's a 70 cent trader as well. But look, the Wii game we don't have. So then on to the OG Xbox. We got one, two, three, four, five nine games for that now they did have a few psp games in the window as well but they were just tiger woods fifas and uh, nothing really of note so the first one we have here is blazing angels squadrons of world war ii i have like 10 xbox games so if i already have any of these i'd be extremely unlucky but sure hopefully some of them are worth a bit in trade that's just a one euro game did check all the cases all the discs are in here only a few of them have the manuals unfortunately but for a euro each we'll take them medal of honor same job that trades for about 70 cent this one has a bit of writing over the barcode, so I don't think it's going to scan, is it? No, but we'll look it up. Full Spectrum Warrior. If you have any of these games or any good, let me know. As I said, I know very little about OG Xbox. I don't even have the console to play them on, so we're just going to build them up on the shelf and get a console one day and have a play of them. Yeah, trades for like 80 cents. I think these are mostly kind of cheapy titles, to be honest with you, but we don't see OG Xbox stuff in the world too often, so when we do, and when it's a euro each, we're going to grab it. 
from Russia with Love, uh, trades for two quid. Operation Flashpoint Elise. Again, not really expecting these to be too crazy valuable. And that one just bricks the CX app, lovely. I'm go back and search it, Operation Flashpoint. Yeah, 40 cent game. Golden Eye Rogue Agent. Funny enough, I said about having only 10 games. I think this possibly could be one I have. Yeah, trades for 80 cents. I must have a look at the curiosity actually. I do have the game I app, I kind of keep all my games in there. Great for like cataloging all your stuff, not really too reliable in terms of the old prices now because it's mostly American pricing. But no, I don't have that one, so there you go. What do I know? Then we have Mercenaries Playground of Destruction. All right, that's it there. Sells for forever, trades for 190. So this is another actually, this is the bond one I think I might have. Where's my game I app? It's everything or nothing. Something about the cover is just telling me. Yeah, I actually do have it already complete on the Xbox. That's mad. So we'll have a scan and see if we can get anything back for it. Yeah, trades for 110, so we could pretty much literally get our money back for it. So. And last but not least, Rainbow Six Tree. Again, this one's covered up, so we'll have to give it a scan. And a 70 cent job. So yeah, nothing too crazy in that Xbox pile, but nine games, eight of them that we don't have, we're gonna add to the collection. And we still have one more stop to go. So let's see if we can find anything in the Vincent's and Cooler. But let's just go do our last stop now and see what happens. too crazy in there they had games but they were pretty much all overpriced at three euro so just grabbed a copy of this siphon filter logan shadow it was three euro it probably trades for about three or four and sells for about eight but it's a game that we don't have for the psp that we will play so why not but we'll leave it at that for today we'll jump back out on saturday that's the next day i have off work so we'll probably just do a little local run again and then we'll try and get a video to you for the sunday so but not a bad day's hunting in the end hopefully we can keep it up and get a few more games on saturday okay so it's been over a week since we've had a chance to go out hunting i had mentioned earlier in the video that i was hoping to get out on saturday i was actually working on the saturday i was getting my weeks completely mixed up and i've taken a bit of a sideways well an up and sideways step in work so we are doing a bit of a different role at the moment so i'm currently on like a two week training thing for that so we're basically doing nine to five so there's hardly any charity shops to hit but today we have a little bit of a later start so we've got exactly one hour to squeeze as many in as we can so i'm going to try and hit the three decent local ones and hopefully we come away with some games but we can't waste any more time so let's just get straight in and see what we can find just going back to the retro we got an old N64 a few years ago and then found an old box for it over the eye. Katie and sister, brother had, had, it, had an old thing on top. Can you get them yourself? I'll be able to reach over here. Yeah. Sure. I'll just look at this here. Brilliant. Thanks, mate. Ah, you're the lad who bought them the last time. I was here the last day, yeah, and that's right. Yeah. Them out. Are you serious? Yeah. And I'm, I thought I was going to be off on the Saturday and I got stuck for a work. I was getting my weeks mixed oh, up. I swear literally to had God, he's only after putting them out about an hour ago, maybe. So have a little It was meant around. to be, it was meant to be. I think Oh, what a stop. I don't know if I mentioned it the last time I came from that shop, but they thought they had a few more games upstairs. Went up, had a look. They're so nice in there. Couldn't find them. 
I just popped in there. Like I said, we have a quick hour. I just said I'd drop, drop by, see if we could find anything. And they had a few games in the window, mostly 360 and a couple of PSP games that weren't there the last day. Grabbed them. Like, we got an absolute banger in this Def Jam fight for New York for the PSP. I think last time it was in stock, it was going for about 20, 25 quid. I think it's worth a bit more than that. But the great thing about it is it's all free because this Minecraft is going to cover everything. It was 650. The Xbox One, the three, 360 games were a euro each. So that was four euro. And then we got five PSP games. Four gammy ones here. But for 50 cent each, I just thought, why not? Like, we'll just grab them. And then obviously this one's the pick of the bunch. I don't know too much about this Bullet Storm. I'll have to look that one up. Rise of the Silver Surfer is just a common as far as I know. Minecraft, as I said, we'll get nine quid all day long in trade. So we're actually in the profit on this one. And then this Lego Marvel Avengers might be worth a few quid as well. I'm not sure about Xbox One values because I don't have an Xbox One, but the Lego games generally trade okay. So we might get a few quid for that one as well and put us even further into the green. But we'll do one more stop and then we're going to head into this bloody training course that I have to go to. But uh, yeah, well worth a little stop. And like I always say, we had an hour to spare in the day. We decided to hit three charity shops and it's all worth it just for that one stop. So always go because you never know. Always go because you never know. <laughs> I'm going to have to start printing out t-shirts and get that put on them as the channel logo or something. But anyway, I said I was heading to one more shop. We hit a bit of traffic and we were getting tight for time. So I ended up going straight into the training course. So we'll leave it at that for this one. So I didn't get to hit too many charity shops, but picked up some really nice bundles of games, as you're seeing. But obviously, the banger of the lot was this Def Jam fight for New York to take over on the PSP. This is fully complete and in absolute mint condition. I said in the card that the last time it was in stock in CEX, they were selling it for 20 quid. That must have been a couple of years ago now because a quick look on eBay, I'll put the little prices up here. But it looks like in Europe, it's probably going for about 60 quid and in the States, it's clearing $100 every single time. So this is probably one of the most valuable games that we've ever picked up and we picked it up for 50 cents. I mean, in reality, we didn't even pay 50 cents for it because we got the stack of PSP games and the Xbox games and the Minecraft game. We're going to trade in for nine quid and that's going to cover the cost of everything. So I think in the end between that and the sort of the Lego game that we got, it pretty much covered everything that we've picked up in this video. So really, really, really good couple of weeks. Anyway, I know it's been a few weeks. I did mention very quickly I'm kind of doing a little bit of a different role in work. So there's been a lot of training and stuff going on for that. So that's probably going to go on for another couple of weeks. So. I don't know when I'm going to get a chance to hunt. I'll probably have to get a bit more creative and try and find somewhere to go hunting at the weekends. But not really an awful lot left to touch on. I have a monthly video game subscription box to open. I'm not going to put that in this video. I won't bore you with that. But I'll throw it up on the other socials. So if you like watching those, just check out the Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. It'll probably pop up there over the next few days at some stage. But two things I did get of note. One was this Super Mario 64 manual for the Nintendo 64. I got this off a lad on adverts. It was like five euro and he only charged me a euro for delivery. This is in absolute mint condition, this manual. Really well packaged, really well posted as well. So thanks a lot for that. But I do have the box for this. I do have the cart. Obviously I never had a manual. So for five euro, we now have this complete, which is pretty sweet. And then just behind me here, you'll see this cheeky chap in a Mario Kart. This was sent to me by someone I've mentioned before on the channel, Ryan's Repairs. I'll link to all his socials down below. He has a YouTube channel coming, I think, but he definitely has a lot of videos up on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. Basically, this chap will repair anything electronic. Obviously, he specializes in game stuff, but as you can see, he fixes things like remote control cars, or in this case, couldn't fix it because it was so badly corroded. But he's seen me talk about it in the last video I showed it in the video one of the charity shops they were selling it for 15 euro though it was way too much for me to spend it it's not like I was going to go racing around the back garden I just wanted it for the Mario Shrine got in touch said he had one lying around that the battery compartment in it was too corroded to fix and asked me did I just want it I told him not to send it because he already sent me that Tiger handheld so I insisted on at least sending him the postage cost before he sent it off but sure Ryan being Ryan, he probably went behind me back and found someone who knew my address and it just popped up there in the post yesterday. So thanks a lot for that, mate. Really, really appreciate it. We'll have to try and find somewhere in the Mario Shrine for it. As I've mentioned in the last couple of videos, the game room is still undergoing a little bit of a makeover. We've got some new lights and stuff in there. Uh, I've been putting a few picture frames up on the wall. I'm just waiting to get, well, I need to get a lend of a car or I need someone to give me a lift that I can fit one of these IKEA Billy bookcases in. The way it's flat packed, it's over six foot long. So even trying to figure out to get it sideways into my car, there's no way it's gonna happen. So once I get that and get the games up on that, we're gonna film a game room tour for 2023. So that's definitely one to look forward to. 
But yeah, nothing else really to talk about in this one. Like I said, go check out all the other socials to keep an eye out for the monthly video game subscription unboxing that will hopefully be coming in the next few days. Thanks as always for sticking around. Thanks for checking the video and we'll talk to you all soon. Cheers. Yeah.